Cordyceps is a medicinal mushroom. Here it is here. I take it. And it's really helped me in my life. And what I've taken it for and what it's most famous for is it's, it's taken for vigor, for energy, for strength, endurance, for, for stamina, for power, for activity, for athletic performance. But it has many benefits, but that's the main thing it's famous for and used for. It's used for, it's, it's typically used in Chinese medical herbal system to help people recover and replenish, to, to, to get back to being, being strong again after being sick or weak or having operations or that type of thing. So if you've had an operation, you're tired, you're sick, exhausted, depleted, low sex drive, you want to do better in sports, it's, it's been proven to increase your ATP and, and oxygen by as much as like 30%. I've even read 33, even 40, even 50%. But I don't think it increases ATP by 50%, but more possibly by oxygen more than the ATP. ATP is cellular energy. So traditionally it's used as a, a lung tonic to help increase the strength functioning of your lungs and the efficiency of your respiration, your breathing. So. It's not used if you have like a lung infection, nothing like that. That's their other herbs. But what cordyceps does do is it does help to recharge those fundamental stores that the Chinese called your Jing energy. It's a Qi tonic and a Jing tonic, okay? Qi is energy. So it'll give you more energy for sure. So you've, you're increasing and utilizing oxygen better. You're breathing more efficiently. You're getting more energy from the air, the Qi. Um, your lungs are getting rid of waste more efficiently and um, cellular ATP which is like that's like that's like the energy of your cells basically speaking that's increased significantly too so it's, it's very famous by sports people it's, it'll help you to recover better exercise harder and have better performance it'll also help give you better performance in the bedroom because <laughs> Jing, as, as described as one of the three treasures in Chinese herbal medicine, Jing is also related not only to your, your, your strength, how long you can live and how well you can live into old age, like being healthy, and how, how slowly you'll age, the aging processes. So Jing is, is got to do with um, skeleton strength, skeletal structure, structural strength and integrity and an ability to not to be getting injured and if you are injured, Jing is what makes you go heal fast. So my best formula, my favorite formula really on my website is my rejuvenate formula. You should have a look below that. I'll put a link to all of my formulas below as well as to my website because I've got a lot of other individual herbs too. Herbs help me more than words can say in my own personal life because I used to be very, very sick and depleted, with no sex drive, just tired, exhausted. I couldn't do anything. I was unwell, you know. Uh, got my life snuffed away from me in my early 20s. <laughs> but um, the use of herbs and investigating holistic practices, natural practices, really helped me along with a big change of diet. I changed my diet to much more orientated towards raw veganism and it helped me enormously. But herbs are what really got me going. Herbs and superfoods. Because a lot of our like system of agriculture, we're using demineralized soil and weak growing practices and the food has got a long shelf life so it's a bit old and it's losing vitality and it's just bad soil is the main thing really. So when you use superfoods and tonic herbs, tonic herbs are the best, most powerful, safest herbs you can use in Chinese medical system. It's, it's not for when you got a wound, that's like medicinal herbs, like, but tonic herbs are like, like food, the best, most powerful, best food, that have very specific effects and they're very powerful at regenerating and rejuvenating. rejuvenating. And the tonic herbs are, you can keep taking them, taking them ongoingly in safe proportions. Um, and it won't cause you any harm and it'll just keep adding to your life and it'll help you to adapt to stresses, physical, mental, emotional. So cordyceps has been also shown to be antiviral, it's, it's immune system modulating so it won't make your immune system go too high and if it's already low it'll make it go up, it, it'll balance and the, the Chinese system of herbal medicine, the pharmacopoeia of thousands of herbs, over just over 100 were identified as maybe the best and the tonic herbs are like a number of 30 or something like that but they're like the best and I recommend taking tonic herbs and that's what I sell on my website so if you want to replenish take 
check out my rejuvenate formula or also go go below and um, check out other rejuvenating herbs so but cordyceps is not only rejuvenating herb which is called the yin jing yin is restorative jing is the deep restor restoration energy the power the sexual energy your vitality your adaptive energy how to cope with life and still have energy and to be able to adapt and to function well in life that's jing jing is the most important but um, cordyceps is also a yang energy so it's yin jing and yang jing as well as being qi qi is for energy so it's yang jing meaning it gives you it gives you drive it gives you confidence gives you the masculine energy of like get go uh, go getting will following through with tasks <clears throat> having having the will and the focus and the sharpness to keep going and to do do what you want and need to do in life um, it's the energy of yang is the en yang jing or yang is the energy of propulsion outward moving so Cordyceps definitely undoubtedly gives you energy, but it'll help restore your energy at the same time instead of just burning it up. It helps you recover faster. It's a lung tonic and they're, they're anti-tumor as well, antiviral, immune system. So immune system, antiviral for your lungs and respiration and especially for energy, for sexual enhancement having your sex drive rebuild again that's jing energy so if, if you're doing sports energy if you want to like help you to gain musculature if you're an athlete sports person if you like to exercise you want to have more energy or if you want to have more mental focus more more mental stamina better recall memory focus drive will confidence cordyceps might be for you i think it's a brilliant herb it's been scientifically shown to increase atp as i said earlier and oxygenation I love it. I think it's cool. So I'll come in a packet like this. This is the Hoshiru. Here they are here, the big packet. Um, alternatively, you might come in a packet like this. This is to rejuvenate. So I also do different uh, blends, such as like immune blend, um, strength blend, um, cleanse blend for your liver. Strength is a mixture of cordyceps and a few other stuff. This is an individual herb. Um, strength is a blend. But you know, you can't go wrong. Just, they're awesome. They really affect your life. On a side note, guys, I just wanted to compare Cordyceps to you with other products <laughs> for you. Let's say Astragalus. Astragalus is a, a renowned, very famous, deeply revered, long-standing, top tonic herb in all of Chinese herbal medicine. I recommend Astragalus. It's brilliant for energy it's great for your immune system they're the two main things it's most famous and respected and revered for so anyone with immune system problems of any kind that wants to amp up or protect against infections or heal faster astragalus is the way to go but it's also famous for the third thing digestive strength which is known as your spleen energy in chinese medicine okay so astragalus is mainly used for people who are like using it's to help strengthen your arms and your legs your extremities to, to it's great for people working outdoors, typically but builders, outdoorsmen, astragalus is the way to go, you know. It helps protect you from the cold too. Cordyceps in my opinion is deeper, it's stronger, it's better when you're coming to sports performance and energy and I think this has been time shown through time and science. So if cordyceps really is a mag magnificent herb, it really is, it's been shown. Ginseng, I think cordyceps is better when it's just, when you're simply talking about um, vitality, vigor, energy. I'd go for cordyceps, trust me. Ginseng has other benefits, properties associated with the mind or your shen or like your spirit, your like mood, like spirit enhancing, mood enhancing, optimism. But cordyceps, deep down, physical power, performance. Um, Ashwagandha, it's strength of a horse, the way it's known in Ayurvedic uh, medicine or Indian ginseng as it's sometimes called. Again, it's good, it's very good for your brain, like mental, um, like cognitive function and cognitive issues. And ashwagandha is good to help you go to sleep, help you to relax and unwind and de-stress. Not cordyceps, cordyceps is concentrated for energy. <laughs> but cordyceps is also very good for your immune system too, remember, as I said earlier. So I'd rank cordyceps superior to ginseng, astragalus, 
um, ashwagandha. Um, what else? Um, something you might be interested to try though is the stench. It's a, it's a very strong yang um, jing herb. Have a look at all these below on my website, hireselfherbs.com, and I might even put links below. So have a look. Up. There's definitely many links below, as I already said. But the stench is the one that interests me. It gives you a lot of a punch of passion for life and the bedroom. It activates you. It's powerful. <laughs> And I'll leave with that. I just wanted to leave you with a little bit of comparison because I feel maybe not not enough people give comparisons to put things in perspective. So a lot of herbs say they give you energy, but cordyceps gives you energy. <laughs> and you might be interested in pine pollen too, because that's a superfood tonic herb I sell at my store too, or anywhere, and get the powders to super charge you superfood. Anyway, I have a video on pine pounds, so I'll put it here and uh, I'll leave you for another video. I'll see you again. Okay, take care. Bye.